The sim to real transfer presents a significant challenge in robotics, as real robots often behave differently from their simulations. This challenge is even more pronounced in heavy hydraulic robots due to the unpredictable actuator dynamics, such as slow response times and the complex interactions between interconnected cylinders. In our research, we propose a new actuator model based on real-world locomotion data from the robot. Our model enhances the accuracy of simulating hydraulic actuator behavior, improving sim to real transfer when applied to real robots. We trained a locomotion controller with the actuator model, showing a significant improvement in locomotion performance. For this experiment, we used the BVXQ, a hydraulic robot with both quadruped and wheeled platforms made by the Korea Institute of Industrial Technology. This robot is incredibly challenging to control accurately due to its large size and weight, which introduce additional complexities into the control process. The actuator model is illustrated in the figure. Using actual locomotion data collected from the robot, the model predicts the torque at each moment based on the joint target and joint states. The plots show that our model outperforms typical neural networks in predicting the actual torque from locomotion data. Next, the locomotion controller is trained using reinforcement learning. The training framework is illustrated in the figure. The estimator calculates the robot's current orientation and linear velocity, and the actor uses these with the observations to generate joint targets. The actuator model then computes the torque based on the joint target and joint states, ensuring the simulation closely mirrors the robot's real-world behavior. We tested the performance of our model by applying the trained locomotion policy to the real robot. When comparing the robot's locomotion abilities with controllers trained without our model, the proposed actuator model showed a huge impact in sim to real transfer. The torque and position controllers, trained without our model, exhibited unsteady motions in real robot experiments when well-behaved in simulation. The torque control showed unstable locomotion, being unable to track high commands. In contrast, the locomotion controller, trained with our model, demonstrated stable movements, tracking high-speed commands up to 1 meter per second. The position control showed stiff movements with low foot heights, facing difficulties following high-speed commands. However, our locomotion controller showed smooth and robust locomotion, outperforming in both command tracking and stability. By improving the sim to real transfer, our actuator model enables more reliable and efficient control for heavy hydraulic robots, enhancing real-world performance and greater adaptability.